Well, we do turn now to our GMA cover story and a new study out. Scientists discovering there may be, listen to this, zero benefits to the popular intermittent fasting diet. When you restrict eating for a certain number of hours throughout the day, a lot of people are going to be talking about this, so we're bringing in Dr. Darian Sutton here to break it all down. Uh, just to point out, this is not me saying this. This is the study, <laughs> Dr. Sutton. Um, so, so how did this study come to the conclusion that there were no benefits to this? Well, good morning, Wynn. I have to say that prior to this, we knew that uh, we saw that intermittent fasting was associated with decreased risk of diabetes, cardiovascular disease, and even cognitive decline associated with dementia. But often these studies were limited by uh, time. And so what the value of this new study does is it follows a group of participants over a year, and it finds that uh, what it does is it separates those 100 people into two groups, both of which are calorie restricted, and one group is also time restricted to simulate intermittent fasting. And what it found was that at the end of the year, both groups lost weight, but unfortunately, there was no significant difference between the weight loss, which helps us to understand that calorie restriction, in addition to time restriction or intermittent fasting, probably doesn't have an additive benefit. Okay, so people wouldn't be doing this, though, if they didn't think that it actually worked. So, so what do you think explains the su success stories that we've seen from people? I do believe that these disappointing results don't mean that you should throw this eating plan out. Uh, I think that there are benefits because some can benefit from time restrictions because that can help you passively restrict your calorie intake by avoiding that heavy meal that you may not need and also those low value snacks. So I do think that this can benefit some. Okay, so what's an alternative to intermittent fasting? So I think that quality is from both intermittent fasting and calorie restrictions are beneficial, but at the end of the day, you want to focus on lifestyle changes. And that includes maybe avoiding heavy meals early in the morning or late at night right before bed and avoiding those low value snacks by focusing on high value nutrition, remembering that food is fuel and also exercise regularly. And then of course, talking to your provider or your primary care physician to help develop a plan that's best for you. All right, important tips. I can hear the tweets coming in already. Uh, remember, <laughs> it was a study. Too. We're looking at the study. Dr. Sutton, yes, always we're just a pleasure. talking about the study. Yeah, <laughs> have a great one. <laughs> Back to you soon. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.